Human health and climate change are two of the top global concerns. As we continue to spend most of our time indoors, the impact indoor air quality has on human health and everyday well-being is broadly being overlooked. To have healthy and safe schools, offices and homes that are not contributing to the damaging effects of climate change, we need to reinvent how we ventilate buildings. The traditional approach to how we ventilate heat and cool buildings has been these large rooftop air handling units with long duct runs, uh, recirculating air which can cause the spread of virus and, and contaminants. And I believe there's an opportunity to reinvent how we're uh, ventilating buildings with more of a decentralized approach, which not only is, is going to improve the air quality, but also reduce the energy consumption. Control systems, low energy fans are all coming together to find the balance between improving the health of buildings and doing it in an energy efficient way. Using energy recovery and heat exchange in these extreme climates, the, uh, the technology needs to evolve to make it suitable to move to these 100% fresh air systems. Bringing outdoor air in, making those spaces healthy, but how can you do it in the most energy efficient way? And so as part of that, I see monitoring um, a lot more data, now that we have a lot more data, the use of sensors, tying your ventilation equipment into your broader building system to see how you can bring this technology and adopt it in a very energy efficient way. The future of healthy buildings I see is finding the balance between health of occupant inside buildings and also meeting our climate change and energy targets and, and that we can have healthy buildings with a very low energy penalty by using technologies like high efficiency energy recovery.